Listen, listen, everybody, let me, uh, hey. Well, you know, when you went to college in the 1970s, you appreciate a good, peaceful protest every once in a while, huh? Yeah, you do. First of all, you know, when you're in the arena and you are struggling and you leave your family to go out on the campaign trail and, and deliver a message to America because you believe that you, you believe that you are the best qualified person to be President of the United States, and you put it all on the line, and your family puts it all on the line, and I want this crowd here tonight to give a great a great response to a very, very great, talented, and fine United States Senator, Marco Rubio, for the effort that he has done. Now, I want you to know the campaign goes on, and I also want you to know that it's been my intention to make you proud. It's been my intention to have young people all across this country watch somebody and enter into politics, even though I labored in obscurity for so long, people counting me out, people in Ohio saying, why don't they ever call on him, okay? <laughs> we get all that. But we put, we put one foot in front of the other, and I want to remind you again tonight that I will not take the low road to the highest office in the land. And you know, we're all part of a giant mosaic, a snapshot in time, all of us here. And it is our job as Americans, our job as people who want to be decent and live good lives is to dig down and understand that purpose and never underestimate our ability to change the world in which we live. Well, guess what? Tomorrow, I'm going to Philadelphia. And then I'm going, I don't know, all over the country, okay? And many of you have traveled around this country trying to help me. You know what? I, I, what look, this, this is all I got, okay? <laughs> This is all I got. And all I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I want you to know something. We're going to go, we are going to go all the way to Cleveland and secure the Republican nomination.